Hello, 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 and uh, what do we have here? Um, we're going back in time. I, I own this back this box set back in the past when it first came out back in 2000. I think it was March 2000 it was released. But I decided to buy it back in and reopen it just for you guys to see how much of this was duplicated on the new Immersion box set. Because if you know what's going on, uh, the War Immersion box set features this on discs three and four. Uh, yes, this is, is there anybody out there? Pink Floyd, The Wall Live, 1980 to 81. Um, yeah, it features a performance of The Wall from uh, Ells Court, uh, 1980 and 81. And let's just get uh, Swissy out to do his magical business. Uh, yes, we're going to just do one swift slice. Whoa, look at that. You don't get that on any other YouTube channel. And, uh, oh, Oh, it sounds like knicker elastic, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got me all a fluster. So um, let's um, stop playing with it. And so let's uh, explore the innards of this uh, this old box set. <clears throat> like I said, um, many of you know most of this will be uh, well. This has been superseded now by the new immersion set, which is due at the end of the month. And um, yeah, I was kind of curious to see what graphics. Uh, would be would be duly reproduced in said box set. Uh, I remember when I first bought it back in the day, I was quite impressed by the graphics design and the amount of detail, you know, the attention to detail that was in this set. I and mean, it was quite a nice box set to own. Um, but like all things, I I remember selling it a few years back. And um, but anyway, let's have a look, shall we? As you can see, the first disc is uh, hidden. Slightly, look at that. You, 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 if you haven't got good eyesight, you wouldn't know it was there. Look, what? so uh, there you go. It's it's tucked away in the in the sleeve there, and so is that. I thought it was kind of neat at the time, but um, probably wholly impractical. The spine probably, you know, it probably all comes to pieces over the years. I should imagine when the glue um, loses its stickiness. But um, but there you go. That's what it looks like. It's in this lovely hardbound um, booklet kind of thingy it's very high quality the card stock again is very very good and look how high quality it is look it's so stiff i can't bend back the uh, the face mask of waters and gilmore and um yeah i mean look it's um yeah it smells lovely <laughs> takes me back and uh oh oh what we've got here who lives in there eh? who lives in there see they've done a little die cut there so you can I don't know. I don't know what you what that's all about. I think it's supposed to symbolise something. Uh, but hey, I'm just an idiot. I don't know what all this means. But you can see there's some there's some really good pictures of the of the MC and uh, the fake band wearing the uh, the Gilmore Waters Mason and Wright face masks. They used to open the show within the flesh. They weren't really the band, you see. That's, if you listen to the lyrics, you'll understand what they're getting at. And um, there's some really smart, you know, photographs. I guess these are all taken for old, old was caught. Um, but you get an idea of the the scale of the of the performance and then the concert there. And, and there's Roger thinking, oh, I wish I'd fired the band sooner. Um, but yeah, I mean, it certainly is deluxe and delightful. And it'll be interesting to see just how many of these photos resurface again in the War Immersion box set. Oh, I'm a cynical old bastard, aren't I? Um, but yeah, there's um, in this set there are little um, uh, interviews with each member of the band and their thoughts on the concerts and the album. Uh, yeah, it makes for interesting reading. Again, I'd, I'd be interested to see if that stuff is reproduced. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if any of you picked this up in the day. Um, but it is worth checking out. I mean, even if you get the immersion sets, worth checking out. This has probably been deleted now, but um, because what you get is you actually get the full version of the wall, how it was meant to be, because a lot of the uh, music was edited down for the album, and so you get extra verses, you know, extra instrumental bits, you know, because I had to have extra time to build up the polystyrene bricks in the wall. So this is the like the the fullest version of the album of the. Of the, of the piece you, you, you're going to hear and there's, there's some great um, uh, work there from Gerald Scarf you know his stuff is uh, well well reproduced here and um, 
and you can get this this curious design, you know, stage design, and it's kind of printed on like tissue paper, on uh, tracing paper. Uh, I don't know if you remember using that when you was a kid, but yeah, I mean, they really spent a lot of money on the binding of this, and um, yeah, you got some like Mark Fisher's plans for a, a, an auditorium. You know, mobile auditorium was inflatable. Um, this, you know, designs for the the teacher puppet. Get more tracing paper, and um, yeah, I mean, I thought it was really cool for the time. Uh, you can get these off of eBay relatively cheaply. I mean, if you don't want to, st you know, s spend your money on the, the wall immersion set, I think you can pick these up for about twenty quid. Uh, if not, you can always check out my eBay channel because this will be going up for <laughs> up for sale. <coughs> Maybe I'll post a link to my my eBay account so you guys can uh, pick up all my goodies when I finish with them. And that's it. That's uh, is there anybody out there? The wall live eighty to eighty one. Let's slip it back in its case. Let's slip it in. That's what she said. And um, yeah, my name's been Darren Rock. I hope you've enjoyed the, this presentation, and I'll see you again soon. Prog on.